What's up, everybody? If you're interested in Posca pens or you bought them and you want to know how to use them, you came to the right place. I recently bought my own set and wanted to share with you guys how to use them and what to expect. Let's go. And here's the final product. These pens are super easy to use, and now I'll show you guys how you can use them. So let's get into it. In this video, I'm gonna go over you know, what Posca pens are, how to prime them, um, how to draw with them, and show you how I use them myself. So Posca pens are these water-based markers that could write on any surface. They give out this opaque and fluid paint, and the rendering is really similar to acrylic. It's really, really smooth, so it makes it really easy to use. The colors can be mixed, diluted, or overlaid. Uh, we'll get into a little bit more about that later. The paint's going to be permanent if you write on a surface that's very porous, or it'll be erasable if you write on something non-porous, such as glass. They're water-based, they're odorless, so they're totally safe for kids to use. I think there's seven different sizes of tips that you can get, ranging from fine pin tips to bullet tips, chisel tips, and broad tips. My favorite thing about these pens are how easy they are to use. You just give them a shake, pop off the cap, and you're good to go. You can write on any surface, and you don't need water, a palette, paint brushes. Everything's just ready to use. So let's get into how to prime these pens. It's pretty straightforward. Make sure the cap's sealed on, and then just give it a shake. When you shake it, you move the ball bearing that's inside of the barrel, which will help get the paint flowing. Once you've done that, find some scrap paper and press the tip down several times. All right, so now on to drawing. These pens will dry very quickly within a few minutes or seconds, but if you're not careful, you can still smudge. I got a little bit of paint on my palm, which messed up my drawing. So when you're drawing, there's three different effects that you can use. One of them is you can blend different colors by mixing them directly on the surface, as long as the paint's wet. The second effect is dilution. So while the paint's wet, you can actually dilute it to get this watercolor effect. And the third effect is overlaying colors. After the paint dries, you can cover a layer with another layer of paint without it smudging. This is perfect for someone like me who probably makes a lot of mistakes. Even light colors overlay over dark colors. What? All right, so let's get on to the materials. There's tons of different materials you can use these Posca pens on. One of them was cardboard, and you can see it goes on just as smoothly as it did on the sketchbook. Um, another material that I used it on, the sole of a pair of shoes that I had, and the paint goes on with only one layer. The color sits on the material so nicely. Another material that I used it on was a skateboard. I took the Posca pens and drew on the grip tape. No problem. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care, guys. Enjoy your Posca pens. Peace.